Today, I'm going to be teaching you some three basic chords. Hello everyone, welcome back to Yugalana channel. So today, I'm going to be teaching you some three basic chords. It is super basic. You're gonna, this is gonna be super easy, but on one of the chords, it might be a little hard because you're gonna need to like find where your fingers are supposed to go, but it's not that hard when you keep on practice, practicing over and over again. So let's get started. Be sure to bring your ukulele if you're um, going to learn these three basic chords with me. So today I'm gonna be using my brand new mm -hmm. pink ukulele. Um, if you didn't see my pink ukulele unboxing ukulele video, go check out that before you see this one first. Okay, now let's get started. So the three basic chords I'm going to be teaching you is C, F, and D. Now, I, I, when I first learned G, I thought that was the hardest chord ever. But when I kept practicing, it got like even easier. Like now, when I tr go into it, I don't need to look. So, the first chord is C. C is the most well-known chord I've ever known. Um, and I actually almost use it in every song I, I learn. It's just like super easy. You just need to put one finger. You could use any of your fingers. I wouldn't recommend using your pinky or your index finger. You could use your um, middle finger or your ring finger. I prefer ring finger because it's easier. Um, so for the C, you just place it on the A string, the first string, and put it on the third, the third fret on the last or first string. Um, so it makes like a high pitched sound. Except when you play it, like you actually strum it. It doesn't really make, well yeah, it makes a really high pitched sound, but not that high. But it's a very beautiful sounding chord. I just love it. Okay, now moving with another chord. The next one is F, it'll sound like this. Beautiful, right? I think every chord sounds beautiful no matter what it sounds like. You have to put your index finger on the second string right here. Um, put that on the first fret on the second string. That. So it's gonna sound like that. And then your middle finger on the last string, which is G. also goes in really in a lot of songs. Okay, now moving on with G. I always had to look at my frets to go into the chord G, but that's fine because you're still practicing, right? But then you'll get even more advanced and, and then you'll go to a pro. So how you do G, you take your middle finger um, and put it, uh, place it on the A string, and then you put it on the second fret on the A string, down there. And then your index finger on the C string, it's on the same fret from your middle finger, but it goes two strings up. But then our ring finger goes on the third fret on the E string, and we'll go right there. looks like a triangle, an upside down triangle. And then this is what G is supposed to sound like. If it doesn't sound like this, it's okay. You could keep practicing or you don't need to practice this chord. Um, but these are the three chords you just learned. C, F, and G. Don't worry, if you're if you're like struggling on the chords, I did too. Um, so there's a lot of songs that have the chords C, G, and F. Um, one of them that only has those chords is You Are My Sunshine. I That was one of my first videos from my channel. Um, 
and a lot of people really liked it and they there's a lot of views that was actually the that was the a video that got the most views I'm like surprised 22,000 whoa probably more but probably more now but um so remember we were uh we can review the you are my sunshine video this makes the song strumming easier just down 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 you are my sunshine see my only sunshine it stays on c and then you go to f subscribe and like and I hope you guys have a great day out there bye or good night wherever you are okay bye